Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, James here. It's been a while since I uh, did a video. <clears throat> and um, what made me uh, start out coming back to doing video again, I've, I've been gone for like a month. But I started with something as interesting as this. Let me turn down my background. I'm still coming up with a little virus. I had a little... Not not coronavirus, but kind of like a respiratory thing. Um, but anyway, I just want to um, talk about this thing about what the Liberty Moms and what this thing about critical race theory, the reason why they want to be taught in school. What is the big deal? It's going to bring up old racial stuff. We don't want to know from our past. But when you look at this page, it's called Black Past, African American History, Colonial African History, and it tells you racial violence in the United States since 1660. The first picture it shows is Tulsa, Oklahoma. <clears throat> As you go down through the page, it, it tells you all from 1712, all from the 1700s, 1800s, all through the 1800s, um, <clears throat> the Creole case, the Amistad, family, the, the Nat Turner, the Denmark conspiracy, the Andreas Rebellion, the 1800s with the Cincinnati riots, anti-abolishment, anti-Pennsylvania uh, Hall fire. Um, 1851, the Detroit race riot in 1863, <clears throat> New York City rise 1860, Memphis rise 1866, New Orleans massacre 1866, Pulaski race riot 1868, Kamala massacre 1868. <clears throat> when all these were, were race riots. All through the 1800s, going to the 1900s, you will see, <clears throat> excuse me, you will see all these are race riots early in the 1900s. My question is to you, how you are going to, one day, the future generations of children in this country is going to find all this out because it's in, it's in museums, it's historically, it has been shown from every part of the United States and elsewhere. There were always a race riot going to the 20s, the 1920s, the 1930s, 1940s. Then we go jump up into the 60s. Um, there were riots on here. I didn't even, didn't even know. Let's look at this one, the Dayton, Ohio one. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. okay. This one has, okay. Okay, yeah, let's go with another one. The 1960s, the mid 19, the, seven, the late 67s. 68 after the King assassination, but there were constantly riots all in the late 60s, early 70s. There was a riot in Miami in 1980. Let me see if we can pull it up. Yes, there was a riot in 1980. A black motion, all the way down. Crash his motorcycle and also led to death. How the police sport? It was police dealing with police. And blown out angry blacks attacked motors, fleeing their vehicles, a riot, moving to a neighboring white business district. Here, this, of course, this is in. <clears throat> wow. Wow. But how? But no one wants to talk about. They, they think that they're going 
people are going to hide this from the history of this country of race relations. <clears throat> Nobody want to talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, this um, rise, but it it's always started centered around race. So your critical race theory people can't argue this. This is there. There are riots mentioned here that go back in the twentieth century into the twenty first century. During every generation, there was a riot. Every decade, every every scenario, it was a riot. In every city throughout this country, there was a riot. That goes all the way back. America is like other places will never racism will never end. Because someone is and the reason why is because it is taught generationally. And as you can see on this page, every generation learned from whatever part of the country, no matter if it was in the south, no matter if it was in the northwest, northeast. No matter if there was racism, you, you'd be surprised. But mainly in the Midwest and South. But in other places in the, in the country, there have always been racial riots. Started on the small towns and it led to upline to go all the way back to 1660. How in the world you're going to cover this up? One day, hundreds of years from now, who knows how long the the planet would be on its axle. When it, one of the topics is going to see when it comes to this country and other places in the world. What one of the, the drive of motivation, the motivation is the injustice and quality and justice of people according to the skin color and their nature. And it's, in some cases, it was their religious affiliation, but most of the time, it was based on skin color. Black people attacking a misjudgment, and the reason why majority of these attacks was because of envies and jealousy towards blacks, and even during the time when blacks were segregated, they still got attacked when black people separated. And they were they were di different, different incidental things. Some of these other people from these different communities would start stuff with the, would come across blacks in this country, and they would pick a fight, or it could be something. It could be someone is supposed to be representing law, and then the law enforcement come, but they would take it out on the blacks because majority of the people that looked like wasn't who on the police force wasn't looking like them. So they, they make it seem like the blacks were doing all of the problems. But this racism that you see everybody talk online, and you see it in every sector when it comes to the African-American community, to be so blunt and forward, they just cover a, a half, a three quarters of it. And I want to say this, it came from every generation. Every generation had a color with skin color. I made a video about in the Bible that the one that Christianity says and the other group says that they never take a look at the end of the Bible. And the Messiah in Revelation, I believe it's 12, is darker than some blacks when he was on the earth. But yet, in, in among some Christians, won't accept that. Some Christians, and, and there's some Christians who are just as biased towards the own. So it caused to be separate. That's why we had separate Sundays separate churches. Majority of people who are other races have their own church. 
sometimes based on culture, sometimes based on skin. And when you understand all these different years, it is because this is basically the blacks were always on the totem pole, the lower totem pole. And whatever caused the riot, majority of it was wrong place, wrong time. And it wasn't that the blacks initiate most of the time initiate the riot. It was it was initiated on them. I go to a place where I'm in Ohio. Let's let's start with the Cincinnati riots of 1829. Hopefully this page pulled up. The Cincinnati Rise of 1829. Racism, economic tension is humiliated in Cincinnati, Ohio in August of 1829, resulting in white violence against African Americans over a two week period from August 17 to 22nd to 22nd. White mobs established at the times with 200 to 300 led by Irish immigrants invaded the riverfront where African Americans lived with a vile tent to drive them out of the city. The mob burned the shelters, homes, assaulted numbers of individuals. Now the Irish did this. The African American but the only African Americans they could do was fought back. This is in 1829. They went down there to drive out drive out. This was in eighteen twenty nine. So they would drive out, if they want to take the property, they did intimate domain. In some cases, if they couldn't do it legally by the courts, these in individuals, when it comes to people of a darker hue, they would take law in their own hands. And the law wasn't for the blacks, the African Americans. But they, they don't want to talk about the injustice, these people who mention about critical race theory. But yet, I, from, from 1829 all the way to, to um, I'm going to show you a story. This is happening now. This, it talks about the Baltimore riots. You know about the Ferguson. We know about the 20. And there was another riot in Cincinnati from 1829. And here was, and I was in Cincinnati during this time in 2001. This was the shot. Cincinnati riot was a four day civil war period. Shoot them. I'm just pointing this out. This is just one of the cities. Because I'm in Ohio and I can recognize this. Stephen Roach. Officer Roach was attempting to arrest Thomas on the traffic violations. The riot mostly took place over the Rhine. The same place in 1829. It's the same same thing. And this was because of an officer. Roach, you know, and he, he shot them. Um but, but it says a group of 200 protesters include Timothy and mother, get outside the hall, get session. Blah, 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 blah. I'll let you read the story. I won't go really into it, but it tells you, excuse me, see, this is a, see, the past and the present collide with each other. What I'm saying, the past and the present collide. This is in 2001. From 1829, in the same city, in early part of Cincinnati to now, Cincinnati, one of many cities throughout this country, always had racial problems. Always, there's always been division. It, and it's kind of been that hidden division. And it may not have been explosive as like your southern cities was in the south, but. It, it, it was pretty close. But this was in 2001. So this gives you a history. So again, if anybody want to know about this, 
you come up here, 